message. Let me get a nice little filter. All right, so this is the quick 444 message. So I was just hearing, 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 hearing. Sorry. Hey, butterflies. Welcome back to Evolving Butterfly Goddess with me, Monaco. Here we are all about evolving out loud in our life, our money, and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, and your subscribes here on the channel. It is always appreciated. And a major shout out to all the channel members as well as the members over on my website. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support. So we are back with um, another channel message. Also, thank you to everyone who has been purchasing from my tea and my candle company. Um, I really appreciate it. Once I finish this message, I've been working on labels and stuff to start getting these orders going from the ones that I stopped processing, I think, at Thursday. So I'm like, okay, let's go and get the next batch done. So thank you all for your support. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy all of your products, okay? And so I'm hearing this energy of Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his head was his home. And when he died, all he left us was alone. With this 444, I still felt more 444 energy coming out. And it made me think about father wounds, father issues. Um, we just had a class a couple weeks ago in a Butterfly School of Transformation on healing father trauma, father wounds. And... This makes me think of that now after I just did like an Aries reading and another reading that I did earlier here on the channel. And it's just like this father wound that needs some care. It needs to be tended to. Um, and it deals with your ability to like how you view your confidence, like your confidence, how your confidence is impacted, um, how you view what is available to you. All of that is affected by this father energy. You have the high orphan coming out. A teacher is something that your father did not teach you, that you did not learn from your father, that you're wishing that you had now. This is Taurus energy that deals with values. I'm hearing I wish... He valued me in this way or he saw the value in me. So it may even be like a father that's not supportive of you, who's not supportive of the path that you've chosen to take. Um, it, it's a father who does not see eye to eye with you. You know, you don't see eye to eye. You're not on the same page. What's up with this Tahuti with this energy? Because four deals with, and I just, and that's another reason why I knew I had to do it because at the end of the Aries reading, it was 40, 44, okay? And, you know, Aries represents the fourth sign, the emperor. And the emperor as a person represents a father figure. And so that fourth house of cancer, so that also deals with like your emotional self. And so your father, I'm getting had some mother or father wounds, is giving generational curses, breaking generational curses from your father or of your father, from your father's side. Was Barack Obama's book something of my father or something like that? Um, it's just giving this energy of, oh, y'all know that song, they're like, oh, you, uh. You your daddy's son. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you ugly. You your daddy's son or something like that. Like, what was that? Um, Whatever. I'm getting that vibe. And I always would cringe when I would hear that. You ugly. You your daddy's son. Like, that's toxic. Like, but it gives me a vibe of that's something that like a mother or, uh, you know, since a parent would tell a child when the father is not active and when they want them to like they are they have resentment against this father figure you know what i'm saying like mm, you just like your daddy ugly and you just like your daddy thieving and you just like your daddy honey you get what i'm saying like it's giving those vibes 444 on the time it's giving those vibes and the opposition to that fourth house energy is capricorn energy 10th house which deals with your reputation and your career so 
is something about your career and your success within your career um your ability to be organized your ability to withstand some things persistence resilience it stems from a lot of your connection with your father we're hearing you ugly you your daddy's son okay you got the warrior of scepters coming out in the reverse and the queen of ops in the upright you were la it's something about this masculine energy masculine drive that you were not taught or you did not have present in your life at a certain time of your life and so you had mainly a mother figure so the mother the queen of um ox on here wait let me take this filter thing off of this thing okay there we go the queen of ox in this deck right 555 on the time the queen of ox in this deck she is like an advisor. She was an advisor to her husband, who was a pharaoh. She was an advisor to her son. She was an advisor to her grandson, okay? She was the advisor. She was like the backbone of the energy, okay? They didn't have another man advising them. It was her. She's the one who withstood the energy, right? And the warrior of scepters energy, which gives a masculine energy, a warrior is given a vibe of someone who got a lot of energy. They may do things reckless. Warrior scepters and reverses can be a very reckless energy. It's giving me a vibe of a father who was very reckless. Wasn't, I don't want to say tamed because I'm not saying he a monster or animal, but like he didn't have structure to himself or his life. He didn't have boundaries with himself. He didn't tell himself to stop with certain things. He kept going. He kept going. And it's just giving this vibe of you not having that and you not having that, it affecting how you approach your work or your drive or how you put yourself out there. I'm also hearing your charisma. Somebody daddy was a pimp. My right thigh just started hurting. It's like this thr throbbing pain in my right thigh. Someone has like a mark on their thigh. Or somebody got beat and have like a scar near their thigh. King of Ox, and it wanted to be in the reverse. In the reverse, that's my emotional manipulation. That's my emotional insecurity. That's my emotional um, unintelligence, okay? Energy. Nine of Ox. And it's like you've hoped for a lot you've wished for a lot it's a lot of promise for a lot you know what i'm saying but for scarabs at the bottom it may feel like that a lot hasn't come in but this is also selfishness this is like a father who ain't really helped with anything who ain't helped pay for a lot of stuff you may yo, you know what i'm saying like your mom maybe had to do baby i gotta take a, a, a puff puff your mom maybe had to do a lot of the work. Six of Swords in the reverse. So I don't know why the first thing I just heard was like somebody who wasn't, who was there, but wasn't there. So someone who was down the street, but wasn't active. This is giving a vibe of uh, somebody who never grew up. They never grew up. This person never grew up. Yeah, three of swords. 
because they had their own stuff that they had to work through. They have their own stuff to work through. This father figure, I can't even say that. Because for all of you all, they weren't absent. They were present, but toxic. <coughs> present or unhelpful or unsupportive. You know? But the purpose, let's get into the purpose of this, the, the healing. Let's get into the healing. Let's get into the healing. I can't do this without the healing. Y'all know me. It has to be, it's a reason why we're hearing this. I'm going to read the 444 from the book. Angel number 444 appears when your spirit guides want you to know that you are on the right track. You have created the proper boundaries in your life and they are keeping you protected, on task, and grounded. You are walking in wholeness and in the right direction. These boundaries and protected, that's for energy. Boundaries and protection is for energy. And this is a 444 reading. So it's giving me a vibe of you healing your boundaries and how you protect your energy and your space. I'm hearing protect your essence. Protect your essence. Protect your essence. Yeah. <laughs> and it's something about you may have even felt like you weren't protected. So you had to learn how to be your own protector. Because now I'm hearing the Beyonce. Me, myself, and I is all I got in the end. Is what I found out. And it ain't no need to cry. I took a vow that from now on, I'm going to be my own best friend. Okay, you're your own best friend. Learning to protect yourself. And it's like you, if you have children, you pass that down and like your protection with your children as well. Maybe even an overprotector, you know. A lot of overprotectors are people who have seen and gone through a lot of things. You have the Roman chamomile, the card of destiny. So you are not lost. You're, you're doing what you love. And if you don't love it, it's time to start changing to do more of what you love. There is a path waiting just for you. Open your heart and mind so you can use it on your journey of fulfillment. And this is giving a vibe of you are not your father. You are not the sins of your father. You don't need to claim the karma of your lineage, your father. On that side, that's the energy I'm reading into the day, okay? You don't have to claim into that energy. It's not yours. Dismiss it. It's not yours. You're healed from that. You're the healed part of your lineage. Protect your destiny. Protect your, your destiny. You have cinnamon with intimacy. Don't find yourself in spaces saying this is too good to be true. Always remember, things can only get better. Allow yourself to experience more joy and love. Raise your resonance by swimming in the sweetness of life. I love cinnamon scents. Oh my gosh. My actually, my blessings in abundance. One of the scents in that is cinnamon, and it just makes it so freaking perfect. Oh my gosh. And in the Aries blend, it's cinnamon in that one too. But um, 
this is giving this vibe of intimacy with self, getting closer with self, more aligned with self, and like knowing that you deserve good things, even if 1515, even if you had people telling you that you didn't or that you were asking for too much or they tried to make you feel like you were doing too much. No, that's you. And I've been feeling a lot of solar plexus energy and both of these cards are solar plexus cards. That's confidence. Masculine energy rules confidence. So if you don't have a healthy masculine energy around you, it can has a high chance of, a, you know, affecting your confidence negatively unless you have that positive energy somewhere around you, you know what I'm saying? Which is why that queen of water or the queen of angst um, came out, which was the advisor, you know, was given a sense of feminine energy, trying to teach masculinity. I can't. In the same way masculine energy can't teach femininity. So such thing as balance and like playing your role, you know. What's the last one? Cilantro. I love and this is perfect. I said, what's the last one? Oh my gosh. First off is a root chakra energy. And we all know root chakra energy is like developed by like the age of four. So the things that we've gone through up until the age of four, a lot of us can't even remember the stuff that happened. So we're operating as a result of things that have happened in our life that we don't even remember. It could have been the fights and the arguments that your parents had, you know what I'm saying? And you was around. Even if you was just a baby, you were still taking it in. But it's the card of letting go. Do not look at life as this is not the way that it's supposed to be. Yet look at it as you're free. You have free will. And you have free of choice freedom of choice lift up your burdens and allow the divine to free you from them allow yourself to be cleansed of anything that is weighing you down and of anything that you didn't have that you feel like you needed to hold you down and get out and explore to start finding them and allowing them to attract to you destiny intimacy and letting go It's a butterfly effect. Effect. It's a butterfly effect. A effect. Time to change some energy. Change some energy. Time to check your energy. Check your energy. <clears throat> All right, we have 666, generational curse. You know what's crazy? I've been seeing this a lot lately too. And I was gonna do one for this as well. If you all have been seeing this number as well, let me know. Is there a family dynamic that you are choosing to not address? It's time to assess how you were raised and combat negative thinking that is a result of a lack mindset. Didn't we have that four of coins that came out earlier, which is a part of lack? It could be a part of lack. We healing from it, baby, okay? We healing from it. So if you confirm it with me in the comments, just say we healing from it. We healing from it, okay? We healing from it. I love you all. And as always, always be real, always be true. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do. Period. And it is the fall season, and may you continue to harvest the blessings of the energy you have sown. Thank you for all of your support. Feel free to check out all the links and things down below to my website as well as company.